everyone, this is Vi from Sparkling Faces, and today I'm going to be doing a Spider-Man face mask for you. And first we're going to be starting with red, and we're going to be using a um, 3 4 inch brush. You're just going to load that really well. Now some face painters like to go in and put white around the eyes before they go in with red. I actually don't do that. I don't. I try to avoid putting paint around kids' eyes as much as possible. So this is a, a design where it works with or without the white. But if you want to, you can go in with the white and put a base of a white around the eyes first. So the first thing I do is I paint straight down middle of the nose okay and then from there so I'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit more <clears throat> what I do is I hold the brush right along the line that I just did and what you're gonna do is kind of follow the curve of the eyebrow just a little bit and then swirl upwards so we're gonna repeat it on the other side you're just going to follow the curve of the eyebrows just a little bit and then curl upwards okay, and when you curl upwards you want to curl kind of where the arch is so. now once you get there you're going to lay it back on the line in the middle now you're going to swirl underneath the eye and then meet up to the top where you stopped painting right there. I don't know. I'm sorry. I I haven't done a video in a while and I guess I kind of lost my speaking abilities. So just follow along. <laughs> okay. So I loaded my brush some more. Now we're going to do the other side. So you just lay your brush down. Swirl around the bottom of the eye. Yeah, meet up to the top there. Okay. And you want to try to get them as even as possible, but if you don't, it's okay. Um, we're going to go in with black, so it'll give you a better chance to define the, um, the shape around the eyes. Okay, now you're going to fill in the forehead area. Just like that, really quick. Okay. And then for the nose, you're going to start right about the middle of the nose. And you're going to pull it down and go across the cheek at an angle. You're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to lay your brush back down where this line ended and go back up. And just fill in the rest. And I'm using red for traditional Spider-Man, but you can use pink for Spider-Girl or whatever color you would like. Now I'm going to be using a low Cornell number two. And I'm going to be using Wolf Black. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be outlining the eyes. So you're just going to outline around the eyes. Okay, now once you do that, we're going to go in and put the web on Spider-Man. And what you want to do for a web is you want to go thick to thin with your brush. Just like that. And these lines are actually easier to do on somebody else. 
Okay, so first you start with the line going down the center of the face, and then you're going to cut this section in half by putting another line there, going thick to thin as well. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And then for the cheeks, what you're going to do is start at the bottom and you're going to kind of outline or just trace that line here at the bottom of your mask. But you're going to use the same thick to thin technique. Okay, now once you do that, you're going to put a line in the middle between your eye and the bottom of the mask, just like that, and then you're going to cut each section in half. And all of these points are pointing towards the center of the face. Okay, now you're going to add a line right here, just so there's not a big red spot right there. Now what you're going to do for the webbing is you're going to be connecting these two lines with a really soft stroke. It's almost like a C, but it's really, really flat, like that. And what I like to do is I like to put two between each one. This actually goes really fast when you're doing it on somebody else's face. Now, one of the other things that I do like to do is I like to go in and add a spider on their nose. And that's a, it's pretty easy. I just press my brush down and then I press it down again like that. What you're going to do is flick up twice and then flick down twice. Okay, and then from each of these points, you're going to flick once again. So these two legs that are uh, flicked upwards, you're going to put your brush on them and flick upwards again. And then these two, you're going to put your brush on it and flick downwards. I'm actually getting red paint everywhere it's all over my fingers okay and there you go you have your spider-man face and it was pretty easy so let me know if you have any requests or if you have any questions and I hope to talk to you soon bye